I'm so excited for this vlog. It's all about my favorite things to do, maintenance. So I'm so mad that I thought about recording this after the fact, but I already did my facial last week. I wish I would have thought about this before so I could take you with me to my facial place. But today we're starting off with my laser hair removal because I've gotten questions about the place that I go to. So I was just like, let me just take you guys there with me and hopefully she'll let me record in there and hopefully she has some good info for you guys i can show you the machine that she uses i'm not going to be showing you the process of the laser hair removal because that's just a little bit too intimate for me but i um i'll show you what i can and i'm about to go outside it literally takes less time than waxing i'm just gonna use or put on some sunscreen because even though it's later in the day and it's cloudy still need sunscreen especially if you don't want like sunspots or like premature aging i get these facials for a reason and the number one thing that they stress every single time is sunscreen now the one that i use is by super goop i know it's really popular it's their low sunscreen now i really really love this one because it literally gives you a nice glow like can you see my face right now it gives you such a nice glow so if you don't want to wear makeup especially in the summertime this is perfect for that and then with like my little glowy lip balm this along with like my kiss false scar lashes is literally all that i need when i don't have anywhere fancy that i have to go to but anyway that's enough of this let's go get my laser hair removal because like i mentioned in my maintenance video i don't like waxing i don't like getting waxes i don't like doing any of that stuff it's just not a great experience for me so i switched over to laser hair removal and it has been amazing the place that i go to is in queens so we are going over there now and the girl that does my laser is just incredible so hopefully she's there today but this is what i'm wearing i try not to wear anything that's too restricting in the bottom especially when it's like really hot outside and you're starting to sweat anyway let's go Um, with 
any skin complex so that means that we work with everyone as an individual based on your skin color your background okay. and the form that you have to fill out before coming the first time so basically it, it's a real laser that mm -hmm. goes through your skin treat the burn kill mm -hmm. and treat the hair follicles so we damage the hairs from the root mm -hmm. so that's why it's so um, effective it's it worked really well for you because you mm -hmm. have dark skin um dark hairs with mm -hmm. light skin yeah. of course it's the machine it's more strong and new mm -hmm. the latest right now i remember there was one time that you did it for me and the the hair follicle like popped out oh yeah that was insane yeah that would be a bit painful for you right it was but then afterwards it took a really really long time to grow the hair back yeah probably. i saw it working in real time yeah probably this, it's just it's just treatment yeah the hairs were thick and then the setting that we were doing it just was a little stronger for your hairs that it was really coarse mm -hmm. so um laser is a weight line so it travels to your skin it makes the hair to just come out of the skin with that intensity yeah um but you still even if you don't get that all the time you still get the sessions and the results um it will be improvement and get it much better yeah time. yeah the hairs have gotten thinner and it's taken a really long time to grow back which i love i hate shaving i hate like doing all that stuff. every time it's a different you know you will expect something different because mm -hmm. uh, it's patchy and then the next mm -hmm. time it will be the patch in another area yeah so until we make that look even and you know get your results how you want it all depends on the hair cycle as well so that's why it okay. requires multiple sessions yeah because every single hair has their own cycle mm -hmm. So we have to do tracking the hairs and doing multiple sessions. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right, I'm back home. It was so quick. I'm telling you, I've done waxing before and it's so much quicker than waxing. I'm gonna leave them linked down below in the description box. She is amazing. Like she's the one that typically does my laser. She is so thorough, answers every single question, like make sure that I'm comfortable. The slapping that you heard is basically they slap you on the leg if you're getting a Brazilian because that's what I do. They slap you on the leg so that your brain doesn't think about the pain except as you heard it hurts less now for the first few sessions it did hurt it felt like you're getting like snapped by a hot rubber band but it has stopped hurting and it's actually pretty seamless like she didn't even have to do any of that stuff if you're ovulating or close to your period then it's gonna hurt more my results like i've told you guys before have been incredible it takes a really long time for my hair to start growing out again and once it does grow out it's super thin like super super thin hair patchy some places don't grow right away if you have any other questions just let me know next is on friday i'm getting my nails done i'm gonna take you guys to my favorite nail lady and then i'm getting a haircut for the first time in a year i should be getting my hair trimmed a couple times a year but i only go once a year because it's just like it's not a priority for me even though it should be so i'm getting a curly cut on friday the only thing you guys are not going to see in this vlog is my facial because i already got it done last week but i will see you guys on friday Wait, here, do it again. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
good. Not hot. So good. Oh, we're not going to eat. We're going to eat. We're going to eat. We're always so hungry when we come. I'm giving you the snack. Mm. And Rachel always feeds us. <laughs> she no. is never been here. Yeah. Every I don't. time I come here, everybody thinks happy. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Just oh, yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. For what? Your stuff is all about like, um, I'm like no. She's like I should do like a, a day in the life. She doesn't want to. Don't like it. It's a lot for an 11 year old. Yeah. Well, surprisingly, she did a lot of concerts. I thought it was just gonna be the one. <laughs> Call you French girl. <laughs> Frenchie. She loves French. Uh huh. She and I used it. to hate French when I was little. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I used to love it changed. <laughs> you know what I used to do when I was younger? I would get the French on my toes and then little flowers. Oh, the little dog cute. flowers. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> But it's just so easy, it goes with everything. Yeah. And you Possibly. can't tell when it grows out. This one. Oh. Oh, I saw you posted that. I like that. That's that. cool. Yeah, that was you, so nice. This one for the French yeah. too. That was cool. so nice. Yeah, you can use different colors. Yeah, I like color. that. I saw that one on Instagram. I should try that. When she yeah. posted it. Oh, they're so cute. I'm home now after getting my haircut and after doing my nails. So I wish that I was able to get more video in the actual hair salon getting my hair cut because I wanted to record the whole cut. I wanted to record, you know, washing my hair and the way that they style it and the way that they dry it. But of course, when I go into any of these places, I always ask for permission to record because I want everybody to be comfortable with the camera on. And in this case, the hairstylist who was working on my hair, she said that I could only record certain portions, like at certain times. She didn't want the entire thing to be recorded. And I was like, that's totally fine. I can just kind of walk you guys through basically everything that I got done to my hair or how these appointments usually go. You see all of my crap in the background? And my dinner, some really good Chinese food, some new shoes. Please don't mind my mess. I'm just tired and I can't wait to take this makeup off. I go to Filament Hair Salon in the Lower East Side. So my nail place and the place where I cut my hair are actually pretty close by to each other. They're actually maybe like two blocks away from each other. So Filament, I go to them specifically because they specify in curly haircuts. A curly haircut is basically when they cut your hair dry so that they can see exactly how the shape is going to be and so that they cut it in a way that they know it's going to give the hair the best results if you cut curly hair wet which is what i always used to do it doesn't necessarily give it the fullness that we're looking for every curl is going to be different especially with a lot of us having different sorts of curl patterns my hair was literally down here and she just cut a bit of it and i also asked for i wanted kind of like a layered look and i told her i just want more fullness like i don't want it to to be too i don't want it to look like it's all one length i want there to be volume i want there to be different lengths different layers and that's pretty much exactly what she did but i like the fact that it's not super short 
like I like this length so what they did with me they parted it down the middle and then that's when she started cutting she started from the back she cut up to here and then she worked her way up from there creating the layers that I actually wanted her to create and when my hair gets cut you guys it could be the smallest trim the curl will spring up so small she didn't cut off that much it's just the way that my hair kind of coils back up it definitely looks curlier now especially in the ends okay so she cuts the hair then afterwards you go to someone else to wash your hair put the product in it and actually kind of style it or prep it to put you under a dryer i was under there for maybe like 20 minutes they don't fully leave you under the dryer drying they also put these clips on the top of your hair so that your hair doesn't dry flat kind of keeps the hair pinned up so it gives you volume at the top she takes you back into the chair and then she will diffuse it with an actual like diffuser attached to a blow dryer if there's anything that looks out of place that's when she does her finishing touches and cuts off any pieces that don't look right once it's styled and then that's pretty much it they took before and after pictures of me my hair grows very quickly so it's gonna be at the same length in a matter of just a couple of months but i hope you guys like my hair i hope you guys like the way that it turned out i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did let me know your thoughts down below i'll leave every single place that i took you guys to including my facial place even though i didn't take you guys there i'll include every single place down in my description box just in case you guys are interested in actually going to any of these places they are my go-to's they are amazing they are incredible i go to them all the time and i highly recommend with that i will see you guys in the next video